Hi, my name is Ian Klosovac with Close Guitar Tech Video Series. Today we're going to be talking about how to replace the strings on your ukulele. First thing you want to do is lay your strings out in order. We've got our first string, second string, third string, and fourth string. We got those ready. Next you want to detune your ukulele. I'm going to use a string winder. Next we want to take the strings off. I'm going to use a string winder and I'm going to take one string off completely, install the new one before I move on to the next string. Once we have this side of the string out of the machine head, we're ready to pull the string out. You want to push the string through the hole until you see a part of the string through the sound hole. Next you want to notice the type of knot that is on the string. In general you want to match the same knot that's on the string. If you're using thinner strings, then you want to use a bigger knot. I'm going to take my new string and I'm going to feed it through this hole until I see it showing up in the sound hole. So there's two types of knots that you want to use. One is the figure eight knot, which is simply going like this, putting an extra twist in there and pulling it through. You're going to see an eight like this. Once you tighten it, it's going to look like that. When, we're ready, when you're ready to pull the string through, you're going to want to tighten it as tight as you can and then you're going to pull the string through like this. The second type of knot is a bigger knot, so if you're using thinner strings, you want to use this bigger knot. The way to make this bigger knot is by having a bigger loop like this, and then just tying a square knot like this. So your knot looks like this. Next you want to just check and confirm that you didn't make the knot too close to the middle of the string. So I go like this and I can clearly see that I still have enough string length so I'm fine. The next thing you want to do is tighten this knot up all the way. And as you can see, the first knot that we did had one layer of string. The second knot that we did had two layers of string, making the string knot much thicker. Next, I'm going to cut off the extra string. And in general, you could leave about half an inch. Next you want to pull the string through like this, and you can pull with your hand just to tighten up that knot even more. And now you're ready to string the string completely and wind it on the tuner. So which knot do you use for which string? In general, the fat string right here doesn't need as big of a knot because the string is fatter. The first string, the second string, and the third string, I want to use a bigger knot because these strings are thinner. So I'm going to use the double square knot. 
as I just showed you earlier. The fat string right here, you want to use that eight knot, which I showed you earlier as well. Now this is the the part where you really want to pay attention. You want to pull the string through all the way like this. Then you want to take your finger about half an inch away from this machine head and you're going to want to push that in. Then you want to take the string end and kink it a little bit and you're going to take the string end and you're going to put it through the hole again like this. So you basically put the string through, through the hole, you looped it around and put it through the hole a second time. That makes a little bit of a tighter uh, connection with the string and you'll have less issues with the string popping out or anything like that. It also gives you the perfect distance for wrapping. Because nylon strings stretch a little bit more than steel strings on a guitar, you want to have just enough string to wrap uh, enough. You don't want too much wrapping, but you, you have to have some. So I'm going to start winding. And in general, I let the windings go in the downward direction. Okay, now I'm finished winding. I can take a pair of clippers. You can use a pair of nail clippers or anything like that. And you want to carefully clip the end of that string. And then you're finished. All right, guys, thanks for watching our video on how to replace the strings on your ukulele. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time.